Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Fietta. Welcome to today's app overview. So today I'm going to be telling you about an app called Bearable. I'll show it to you on an iPhone 11 Pro operating on iOS 13.7. So this is what the app looks like. So when we open this app, you'll see at the top of the screen a calendar and then below that a bunch of options. So um, I have mood, symptoms, factors, sleep, med supplements, food diary, gratitude, and extra notes. But then if you scroll down, you can click customize the homepage. So with this, you see all those options again, but you can actually toggle them off, leaving only the ones you're interested in. So if I'm using this symptom tracking app, just to track symptoms for myself or for somebody I'm caring for, I might turn the other options off to keep it as simple as possible. And then you see now my homepage only has one button and that's symptoms. To add a symptom, you can just click on the day where you or someone you're caring for experienced a different symptom and then you click the plus button. So right now there's um, one symptom listed, it's headaches that may or may not pertain to me or the person whose health I'm trying to keep track of. So you can click add symptoms and there's a huge list of different options. You can either scroll and look for the symptom that, that is being experienced or you can go to the add symptom bar and just type something in and click add. So um, with this, I'll add back pain. So now we have um, both headache and lower back pain. And then you see across there's pre, a.m., mid, p.m. So if something happened really early in the morning, I might click pre. Or if something happened in the mid-afternoon, I would click mid or middle of the day, sorry. And then you can click each of those a second time to make it more moderate. So if, for example, in this case, a headache was a more severe headache, you would simply click that again a third time for severe and then a fourth time for unbearable. So if it was a really extreme symptom. And then you can simply click that again if that was a mistake and you want to bring it back down. A. And then you simply close that. Again, with the customized homepage screen, you can add other things if you wanna keep track of, say, somebody's sleep. They're experiencing a symptom that you think um, sleep patterns affect, then you might add sleep. Now that sleep is on my homepage, I can click it and I can drag my finger across to show the different hours um, that either I or whoever I'm keeping track of slept. So the last thing I'll show you is you see here, there's really only three primary pages in this app, which I think is really nice. It keeps it really simple um, and easy to navigate. All right, here are a few more things featured in the Bearable app. If you click on insights, you're able to see the symptoms that you've added over time in a graph format. So you see total symptom score, different symptoms are notated by different colors. You can look at symptom breakdowns or hours of sleep. And the more information you put into the app, the more you'll see here tracked over time. If we click more, you can actually set reminders so that you remember to add symptoms each day. You can change the reminder days, times, frequencies. You click on the days that you want um, to be reminded. You can add a new one um, with a new time. Simply click on the time and then set it to what you want it to be. If you don't want multiple reminders on your phone, then you can delete them by just swiping to the left and then clicking delete. And then if we go back, you can also add health data through the Apple Health app if you want. So you have the option to add things like step and heart rate, but you absolutely don't have to. Just click don't allow. You could also toggle these options off on the Bearable app. You can change the app to dark mode if you prefer that contrast. You can also click give feedback to connect to the app developers in case you have any questions, comments, or concerns for them. If you're interested in using this app for yourself or for someone you're caring for, please consult your healthcare provider. While I'm excited to tell you about this app, this is not intended to be medical advice. I'm not that kind of doctor. Thank you for joining us for today's app overview. Please like and follow.